Okay, so uh, today's topic I wanted to cover is uh, performance task versus a lesson plan, or performance based assessment, ver or performance based. Our performance-based lesson versus a lesson plan is what I want to cover today. Uh, the reason I want to cover this is because there's a there's a shift, especially in my school. Me and my uh, instructional coach were talking about how to move away from the traditional lesson plan over to a performance-based lesson. And the reason that you're doing that is so that we're getting more product-based or product-driven instruction, which is all for the CCRPI, which is career. College Career Prep Readiness Index. And it's something of that in that order. I don't remember what because there's the state and the government comes up with acronyms for it. All right, guys, so today uh, I have to have a continuation from yesterday for the uh, performance task thing. All right, so today uh, in How Not to Suck a Teaching, performance-based uh, lessons instructional coach who we're two and I two of us talk all the time and big on pushing forward in uh, performance based lessons rather than the traditional lesson plan format and I gotta say I agree 100% because my class alone is 100% performance based 24 7 there's there's no way to teach art and not be performance based so when I'm, I'm working on these new lesson plans and you know I don't know if it's a commonality between um, I, I've seen, you know, because being in a couple different schools, I've seen some schools, school to school, have a five-day lesson plan, which I'm very opposed to. I don't, I don't like that at all. Um, or having a, uh, like the county put put out one that's just a generic weekly lesson plan template that that you can use. It's fun. Um, and then some schools are doing uh, the performance base and the the five day, which is what we're doing. Um, but I don't know if that's a county by county, state to state, how, mo how people do their lesson plans. If you, uh, please put down in the comments, what kind of lesson plans you use. Cause I'm always curious as to, as to hear what, who's doing what. Um, but the, the way that the performance base works that I'm a big fan of it, it's really condensed to, how are you going to open up this project? How are you going to work through the project? And when's the close of the project? And me and him talked, and I'm, I'm going to tweak mine week to week because even though I have a lot of overlap and there's a lot of carryover in the things that we do, there's um, some, some simplicity in the way that the, the assignment is created. So, that, so that's kind of how that thing will work. But it's so much better than a weekly lesson plan. And the big reason I can see the push for doing a performance base is that you have a tangible product, an item that the students can walk away with. Um, I, I definitely think that education on the whole would benefit from having higher and more uh, focused performance-based assessments and performance-based structures. Because if you're if you're a student and you're sitting there reading a textbook and listening to a lecture and writing notes all day, you are not getting out nearly as much education as to a, pro a professor or an instructor who's doing something that you're gonna have a tangible product from. There, there's no way you are learning as much as that student who's taking away, literally taking away something out of that class. Um, I just, I just, I know that for a fact from, I don't know if it's just my own educational experiences or the way that I learn. I learn through tactile, kinetic involvement. I don't learn from just sitting uh, stagnant, auditory involvement. That's not going to, that's not going to bridge those, uh, those connections in my own brain. That's just not going to work. Uh, so I think having a push in really core to grasp the performance-based assessment or performance-based model rather than the traditional model, I think is, is a huge step in the right direction. So, uh, I've got several videos that I'm gonna work on the main channel uh, to help support this. I've already got several on there. Uh, if you go back and look at my main channel and you see some in uh, the main channel, the, the channel. Um, if you go on there and you see uh, influence of how to include science in your, in your art classroom or how to include 
uh, teach multiple areas using art. Uh, those videos are, are helpful. Uh, uh, I know that for a fact. Um, but definitely put something down in the comments how you guys want to increase your classroom retention or educational suggestions. I always want to, I want to see whatever the people are thinking. Hope to hear from you guys soon. I will see you guys next class.